and in geometry, it is going to be crucial that we understand when we're talking about different names. When I talk about Mario, I know I'm not talking about a rock, right? When I talk about a cheetah, I know I'm not talking about Mario, right? Very, very important that we make sure we understand how to name and classify what we're talking about. So, so far we've talked about a point, a line, and a plane. Yes? Now, how are we going to name these? All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we use the alphabet. All right. And to use the alphabet, when I want to do a point, remember a point is just going to be a location. So what we do is we just use capital letters. A. All right. Now, when we're dealing with a line, remember a line is going to be the connection between our two points. Now, all you need is two points to make up a line. Now, this line can condemn, um, extend infinitely in both directions, but you need at least two points, right? So you have a point A, and let's say you have a point B. So if I want to say, all right, well, how am I going to describe a line? Because now it just isn't A and isn't AB, but what we want to do is when we're creating lines is we want to talk about the end behavior. What is happening with this line? So we like, write this line as A. B. And we'll write, we'll write a nice little line extending in both directions. Is that OK? Headache? No? OK. So we have AB is going to extend and back in our both directions. And then the last thing is we're going to be looking at is a plane. Now a plane, remember we said extends in all three directions, right? It goes infinitely in all the directions. So that's going to be kind of hard to represent there. However, if we have a plane, Remember, on a plane, all we needed was three points, A, B, C. So if I want to talk about a plane, I'm just going to represent a plane as what are the three important points that contain, that make up that plane? Cool? Maybe not. OK. Good talk. That was fun, right? <laughs>